Hello class, I am Happy Narang, your subject teacher of environmental science. Today's topic is effects, preventive measure and preventive implements of air pollution. So let's start. Effects of air pollution on human as you can observe by this figure. Effects are premature death, aggravated asthma, acute respiratory symptoms, chronic bronchitis, decreased lung function that is shortness of breath. People with existing heart and lung disease as well as the elderly and children are particularly at risk. Around 30 to 40 percent case of asthma and 20 to 30 percent of all respiratory disease affect our health in many ways with both short term and long term effect. Short term effect are irritation to nose, eye, throat, bronchitis, headache, etc. Long term effect are lung disease, chronic respiratory problem, damage to heart, brain, eyes, etc. Eye irritation due to NOx, O3, PN, particulates, nose and throat due to SO2, NOx, etc. Gaseous pollutants like H2S, SO2, NO2 and hydrocarbons cause odor, nuisance. Irritation of respiration tract caused by SOx, NOx, COO3. Increase in mortality. High concentration of SO2, NO2 and SPM causes bronchitis and asthma. CO and NO react with hemoglobin and reduce O2 carrying capacity of blood. Heavy metals like lead can cause poisoning. High concentration cause damage to liver and kidney. Now comes factors affecting human health, nature of the pollutants, concentration of the pollutants, duration of exposure, state of health or receptor, age group of the receptor. This figure shows the effects of air pollution on plant, decreased yield in agriculture, suppressed growth of vegetables, leaf injury and damage to young plants, decreased growth rate and increased death rate. Now comes effects of air pollution on materials. Corrosion of metals due to SO2 in presence of oxygen and moisture in converted into H2SO4 acid. H2SO4 acid react with limestone, marble and other building materials to cause deterioration. Soiling and eroding of building materials. SO2, O3, H2S and aerosols damage protective coating and paints of the surface. O3 and PN causes cracking of rubber and various electrical insulations. Deterioration of artwork due to SPM. Air pollution control cannot be fully prevented but can be controlled. Preventive measures, control measures using equipments, preventive measures, source control, selection of suitable fuel that is low sulfur coil in power plant using of CNG, modification in industrial process, selection of suitable site and zoning for industrial unit. Control measures are when source control not possible, some measures taken to prevent pollution, collecting pollutants by using equipments, destroying the pollutants by thermal or catalytic combustion, changing the pollutants to less toxic form by releasing the pollutants through tall chimneys for greater dispersion, prevention by laws, various laws has been established for the Minac of Air Pollution, Air Prevention and Control of Pollution Act 1981, Air Prevention and Control of Pollution Amendment Act 1987, Motor Vehicle Act 1988, Air Prevention and Control of Pollution Union Territories Rules 1983, Environment Protection Act 1986. The government is trying to remove the use of leaded petrol, a major cause of air pollution. 
the industrial acts are implemented to control the harmful emissions of gases the natural management team work to minimize the effect of various natural disaster like forest fire volcanic eruption that are causes of air pollution air pollution controlling equipments gravitational settling chamber used to remove particles with size greater than 50 velocity of flue gas reduced in large chamber particles settle under gravitational force as shown in the figure settling chamber advantages are low initial cost easy to design low pressure drop low maintenance cost dry and continuous disposal of solid particulates and disadvantages are required large space less collection efficiency only larger size particles can be collected cyclone separator centrifugal force is utilized to separate the particulate matter it can remove 10 to 50 particle size used mo- mostly in industries cyclone as shown in the figure advantages are low initial cost require less floor area simple construction and maintenance can handle large volume of gas at high temperature and disadvantages are requires large head room less efficiency for smaller particles less than 10 sensitive to variable dust load and floor rate electrostatic precipitators works on the principle of elect particle charging or particulate matter negative and collecting it in a positive charge surface 99% efficiency can remove particle size range of 0.1 to 1 waste gases without smoke particles waste gases containing smoke particles as shown in the figure advantages are high collection efficiency particles may be collected dry or wet can be operated at high temperature 300 to 450 degrees celsius maintenance is normal few moving parts and disadvantages are high initial cost require high voltage collection efficiency reduced with time space requirement is more possible of explosion during collection of combustible gases or particulates fabric filters flue gas is allowed to pass through a one fabric which filters out particulate matter small particles are retained on the fabric remove particles up to one its efficiency up to 99% as shown in the figure advantages are higher collection efficiency for a smaller than 10 particle size performance decrease becomes visible giving free warning normal power consumption and disadvantages are high temperature gas need to be cooled high maintenance and fabric replacement cost large size equipment fabric is liable to chemical attack scrubbers are particulate matters are incorporated into liquid droplets and removed from the gas stream different types of scrubbers are spray tower venturi scrubber cyclone scrubber flue gas made to push up against a down falling water current particulate matter mix up with water thus falls down and gets removed cyclone scrubber as you can observe by this figure advantages are similar test simultaneously remove particulates and gaseous pollutants hot gases can be cooled down corrosive gases can be recovered and neutralized and disadvantages are lot of waste waters produced poses freezing problem in cold countries maintenance cost is high when corrosive materials are collected thank you stay home stay safe